we look at the shoulder line, we wouldn't want them to lie any more out that way. We're going to keep them safe in the shoulder joint, and then we're going to ask him to bring the legs back into the carriage, getting a hamstring stretch on the way in, and then he's going to press into the heel, stretching back. This right. is the most amazing stretch ever. Good. Every body wants to move. We get further and further away from it as we age because our lives get full. We have relationships, we have jobs, we have children. Our time gets taken away from our physical life. We start there. Like I teach them that they have more of one place to have their shoulders, that their abdominals relate to their back, that their feet have heels that make their knees stretch. It becomes like ABCs for, for bodies. And then you see these people get brighter. Pilates originally came from Joseph Pilates. He attached springs to a bed and started moving people's limbs and torsos around while they were being rehabbed from injury during World War I. Since then, it's progressed into seven pieces of equipment, including the Pilates Reformer. And that's the primary piece of equipment that I like to train people on. There's tons of creativity, and you can serve almost any type of person. People who like hardcore exercises, they only want to exercise because they want to feel a very high heart rate, a lot of sweat, a ton of muscular fatigue. Enjoy usually learning the nuance that can occur while you're making movement, and then everything doesn't have to be at a 10. There's lots of information that's valuable, somewhere around five and six, where you're still gonna get amazing gains but it's not so much about the, the foot on the gas pedal the whole time. And, and as far as longevity of their athletic career, I'd say that you could add 10 years if you were doing activities that kind of counterbalance that super hardcore working out. I'm now 46. As a young athlete, as a, as a runner, bridging into being a ballet dancer, becoming a professional ballet dancer, becoming a teacher, I've had the continuity of always being in the world, being with bodies, every day, all day. I've been teaching mostly dance or exercise and then Pilates for 30 years. I've been teaching Pilates for the last 17 years and I would guess that it's 30,000 hours of using this equipment and teaching people how to use their bodies better. If you have the knowledge and the, the basis of a lot of different modalities, there's nothing that you can't do with this machine. There's a huge movement towards certification in the Pilates world, which is great. It's a way to make sure that people have a, a bottom level of, of knowledge. But what I'd like for consumers to know, so that you really get the knowledge from an organic standpoint, not from a manual, time spent teaching, that's our sitting with people, is the only way that you get to see if what you think you know can be taught to someone else. Through all these years of discipline that I've kind of had to sweat through and go through, the payoff for me has been that I have the gift of knowledge. Like where you can come to me with a body problem and I can figure it out. I want my students to get so much information that they start correcting themselves. Because my forte is I can give you a million ways to fix this problem. I want to find the one that's going to stick in your brain so that when you're doing your life or your exercise or picking up your children or doing your grocery shopping, you remember what I said. And that's really the, the gift of having someone who it's their life's work.